Nice shot. There we go, Marco. And he drives it into right center field. Hit a ton. This baby is way back. On of here. What is going on? Everybody, welcome back to the Hum Baby Baseball channel. And for all y'all Giants fans who have been saying, Eric, I'm sick of these team previews. Talk Giants. You're in luck because I'm going to talk Giants today. We're going to talk about 10 prospects who can make a big impact in 2022. Some of these guys will definitely have to make a big impact in 2022 if the Giants are going to have another big season, make a playoff run, make a World Series run. Some of these prospects are going to have to contribute this year, especially because, to be honest, the Giants are a bit older in you know, some positions. And do we really expect everything that happened last year to happen again this year. Is it realistic to think Brandon Belt's going to be healthy almost all year? He's going to hit almost 30 home runs again. Brandon Crawford is going to be in MVP talks for a portion of the season. Is it realistic to expect that Wade Jr. is going to be so spectacular in late inning games and help us win so many games with clutch hits? Now, I'm saying some of that stuff will happen. I'm not saying that they're all going to stink. I'm not saying that, but last year was magical. And if we expect to have anything like that again, I really think that some of the young guys, some of these prospects are going to have to play really well. And some of them who haven't even made their big league debuts are going to have to come up and help out as well. So I'm going to get into this list. This is my own personal list of 10 guys, 10 prospects I think will have a big impact in 2022 or at least have an impact in 2022. Some guys I won't mention who are some big prospects. So don't be like, no, where's Kyle Harrison? Um, Kyle Harrison is a great prospect and I think he's an awesome pitcher, but he's very low in the minor leagues. I don't think he is going to make his debut this year. He could, but I don't think he is. And there's a couple other guys I left off the list because I just don't think they're going to have a big impact in 2022 or that they'll have an impact at all in 2022. So this is just, that's what this list is. It's not a top 10 prospects list. It's a 10 prospects who will make an impact or could make an impact in 2022. And I'm going to start it with an interesting name because this guy's not really a typical prospect because he's 32 years old and it's Jason Krizan. And I want to give a shout out to this guy. He's been floating around the minor leagues for like 10 years, but he is really good. He's got an incredible eye at the plate. He makes solid contact. He doesn't strike out very often at all. In 480 plate appearances in AAA last year, he hit 316, 16 bombs, 73 runs driven in, and he struck out just 70 times. And if you go back to 2019 in AAA, 386 at bats, he struck out 45 times. It's a guy you can rely to put the ball in play with some pop and he's a solid defender he's got a great arm i don't know how he has never been promoted but jason krizan deserves to play in the big leagues to say i was a big leaguer he has really had that kind of career and i hope that the giants will promote him at some point at least if he continues to play well in triple a when the injuries start to pile up and we need reinforcements Jason Grizan. Don't forget about him. Bring him up. He's a guy I'd actually like to see at the plate in a critical moment, late season or even in the postseason, believe it or not, because at least I know he's going to fight up there. He's going to foul off pitches. He's going to eventually put the ball in play and try to make something happen. He's not just going to go up there and strike out and it's like, okay, that was a waste of time. That's not going to happen with this guy. So I really like Jason Grizan, but he's just forgotten about. So he's a guy I think Look for him later in the year. If he plays well in AAA, he could get a promotion and he could make an impact. Up next is relief pitcher Gregory Santos. And his stats from last year, they don't look very pretty. And that's the big leagues and AAA. He gave up a lot of runs and then he got suspended for 80 games for PEDs. But there were small samples where the dude was just devastating. He's got great stuff. He is very young. He's 22 years old. He's got a fastball in the high 90s. Analytical websites. They love this dude, but the downside, he just hasn't proven it on the field, at least not at the high levels. His strikeout ratio isn't what you think it would be, and 
Of course, how much of what we saw that was awesome was because of PDs. I don't know the answer to that. But if he pitches well in AAA this year, the Giants are going to give him another shot. As the season wears on, the bullpen's going to need some help, and Gregory Santos is probably going to get another shot. Could make an impact. I really liked what I saw from him on his first appearance when he got promoted. I was like, damn, this dude is legit. Two measly hits, Aaron Sanchez. Um, fantastic, the bullpen, fantastic, shout out to, to uh, Santos, I'm sure we'll talk about Gregory Santos plenty in this stream, uh, who made his big league debut and looked like, holy shit, we got, uh, we got a, a, a closer for the next 20 years maybe up at this kid, so uh, everything is looking good right now. And then all of a sudden he gave a bunch of runs, he got suspended and we kind of forgot about him, but Gregory Santos, he's a guy who, he's got stuff. Assuming all that wasn't just the PEDs talking, we might see him again this year. Up next is a guy I talked about back in my 2020 MLB draft recap video for the Giants, and that's RJ Dabovich. This guy's out of Arizona State, 6'3", 215 pounds, got great arm strength, great breaking ball, good changeup, and in high A last year, he dominated batters. 1.42 ERA in 11 appearances, and he got a promotion to double A, and he continued to pitch well. In 20 appearances at Richmond, he struck out 34 batters in just 19 innings, gave up just 13 hits. So then he goes to Arizona Fall League during the offseason. He strikes out 15 guys in 10 innings with a 1.69 ERA. If he continues this type of domination in AAA, I don't see how the Giants don't bring this guy up to give them some strong innings out of the bullpen. This guy could be a savior for the bullpen if the bullpen is imploding or struggling and needs some help. If R.J. Dabovich keeps pitching well, who knows? This could be a huge arm for that bullpen. His walk rate isn't the best. I mean, it's more likely that you know he's not going to be a full-time big league reliever probably until 2023. But he could help this year. You know, you know how injuries go, and if this guy is pitching well. He could be there for us, and if he pitches well in the big leagues, who knows? This could, guy could be a reliever for years to come in this Giants bullpen. And that brings me to the only starter on this list, which is a little bit concerning, but the Giants did make a lot of moves. They did sign a bunch of starters. We have some depth in the rotation, but if needed, we do have a guy who is six foot eleven, and he's going to tie a big league record for the tallest player ever when he makes his debut. It is Sean Jelly, a former Southeastern Conference Pitcher of the Year at Kentucky. He was drafted in the second round. He mostly dominated the minor leagues until he got to AAA and he struggled a little bit last year. But he is still one of the Giants' best-looking prospects from the pitching mound anyway. He has a nice toolbox of pitches. He can throw a knuckle curve. He's got a mid-90s fastball that looks a lot faster than it is if you think about it with that extension with the angle that he can create at six foot eleven and he's got a sinking changeup as well and the giants like i said have some good depth but you know how injuries go and underperformance goes and later in the season someone's gonna have to make the trip from sacramento to start some very big games and that person could be sean jelly up next is an outfield prospect taken at the same time as marco luciano luis matos Three huge names right here. The triple threat, I'm going to call him right here. And we're going to start with Jairo Pomares. He is a lefty. Incredible bat speed. In 224 plate appearances with the San Jose Giants, he hit 372. That's a batting average, not a on-base percentage. 372, 14 bombs, 44 runs driven in. And then he was promoted to high A Eugene. He slowed down a little bit, but he still hit well and finished the season with a 334 batting average, 20 home runs, and just 302 at bats. This dude has extreme potential, along with Mato, so I'm going to get to it in a minute. Either one could become the first homegrown superstar outfielder that the Giants have had in decades. And if he continues to rake, like he has been, it is not out of the question that Pomares could make his big league debut this year. Maybe not, probably more likely 23, but it is possible we see him this year. And next up is a guy who has already impressed at the big league level. It's a relief pitcher named Kervin Castro. Y'all know all about him. By the way, if you're wondering where Doval is, he actually exceeded his rookie requirements last year, so he's not a rookie anymore, so I'm not going to include him as a prospect. I consider Doval legit. He is our freaking closer, so I'm not going to include him on this list if you're wondering, but Castro pitched well enough in AAA to earn a call-up last year in September. He allowed a total of zero earned runs in 13-plus innings of work. Then 
He throws a couple of scoreless innings in the division series. He struck out 13 and 13. He's got a fastball that can hit 98. He's got a low 80s curve. Great stuff. He attacks the zone. This dude is legit. Kervin Castro, I'm sure he's going to give up a run or two uh, in 2022, but he, he'll give up some runs. But you know what? So far, he hasn't, and he's been fantastic. He looks confident up there. He looks like he's fearless up there. Kervin Castro, I really like this dude, and I think he'll be a big bullpen piece for the Giants in 2022. Bringing us to another outfitter, the second piece of the triple threat, it's Luis Matos. This guy has the best bat-to-ball skills in the entire minor league system. His hand-eye coordination is next level. I have seen him play in person at San Jose, he recognizes pitches immediately. He has a advanced knowledge of the strike zone. He has the potential, in my opinion, to be a 300 hitter who can hit at least 20 home runs a year. In other words, this dude can be an all-star. I believe that. His career minor league numbers, 702 at-bats, 332 batting average, 22 bombs, 908 OPS, and if he continues to destroy minor league pitching in AA and AAA, Giants may have no choice but to promote this dude later this season. And that brings us to part three of the triple threat, Marco Luciano, one of the biggest names in the entire prospect pool. Again, these guys might not make it to the big leagues till 23, but I think that all three have a chance to get promoted this year, depending on how well they play one, two, or maybe all three could see action in the big leagues. Luciano has a vicious swing. This thing generates incredible power. He's got a natural home run launch angle. He's got a high baseball IQ. He's a smart guy. He, he has a great throwing arm. And he can play other positions. He can play other positions if the Giants need him at third, outfield, whatever. He's a shortstop, but he can also move around. He's got that athletic ability. And as for his raw stats, 574 minor league at-bats, 29 home runs. So that's basically a full big league season of at-bats, and he hit 29 bombs. And that home run ratio should get better because he is sometimes a little overly aggressive. Sometimes his patience is not the best. Even though he does have a good knowledge of the strike zone, he will get a little bit over-anxious. But overall, the dude is electric. I could see him making his big league debut this year. If not, look for Marco Luciano to be a big impact player in 23, but it could happen in 22. And that brings us to the biggest prospect on this list who has not yet been to the big leagues, but he will this year. Barring injury or something, Elliot Ramos should make his big league debut this year. He is extremely young, though. He feels like he's older because he's been around for so long, but he was drafted at age 17. So extremely young. He will start the year at AAA. In fact, he just got cut from the big league spring training team, but he hit well in spring training. He was four for 10 with a couple doubles. The dude has natural power, big swing, very strong guy. He's quick. He's got speed. He's got good instincts. Everything is there, although his numbers, his raw stats haven't been that great in the minor leagues, if I'm going to tell the truth. Not as impressive as I'd hoped, not as impressive as some of the other prospects I talked about, but Ramos has been a huge prospect for a long time, and the Giants are just hoping everything clicks with this guy, and he can be a big contributor, and he should get promoted this year, and he could, you know, if he comes up and gets put in a, a game that's a serious game in a serious situation, he could be a big impact player for us this year. I'm looking forward to see what Ramos can do. I don't expect him to be a big part of the team this year, but look for him to make his big league debut. And uh, Elliot Ramos is a guy that we've been waiting to see. Um, he looks really good in spring training, and we'll just see. Like I said, his stats, not the most impressive, but doesn't always mean anything. Sometimes you get to the big leagues and everything just clicks, and boom, uh, all that potential is unleashed. And we'll hope for that with Elliot Ramos. But that brings us to, without a doubt, the prospect that the Giants will most heavily be relying on in 2022, none other than Joey Bart. The second overall pick of the 2018 MLB draft, but I don't think he'll be the second coming of Buster Posey, although he did already get a little sample of replacing Posey back in 2020 when Posey sat out the season from COVID. Unfortunately, Bart hit just 233 without a home run. Well, that's, uh, that's deplorable. But he did get that experience, and with that experience behind him, hopefully this season he'll be a more appropriate replacement. Although, of course, obviously nobody can replace Gerald Posey. We know this, but he's going to have to. And he's going to have to work with the pitchers. He's going to have to play strong defense, and he's going to have to hit some home runs. And he's going to have to show us 
that he can do what he's done at every level, including AAA, including spring training. He's going to have to do that in the big leagues. He's got the bat speed. He's got the raw power. He just tends to, I don't know, he tends to hit the ball into the ground a lot. It just didn't look that great in 2020, but he had a full season of development last year. This has to be the season for Bart. He's got to answer the question, is he the real deal or is he a bust? I don't know the answer to that, but he better be the real deal or we are in deep. And there you have it. That's the top 10 prospects I think can make a impact in 2022. Not 10 prospects, period. Again, left a few guys off who I don't think we're going to see this year. I left a few guys off. Well, I don't think they're going to be that great. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of losing faith in like Jalen Davis. Jalen Davis could make an impact this year, but I'm losing faith in him. I just don't know if he's the answer or not um, in the outfield. I think I have more faith in a guy like Jairo Pomares and, and what he can do. But we'll have to wait and see. All due respect, there's other guys as well. And we'll see what happens. Let me know who I missed in the comment section down below. Guys, have a great day. And let me know what you think of these guys. Is Elliot Ramos the real deal? Is Bart the real deal? I think we're gonna. Some of these guys are gonna have to be the real deal, guys. Crawford, Belt can't play forever. Longoria, you know, Longoria is gonna be on the IL this year a lot. We're gonna need extra help. Okay, we're just going to. So uh, I hope some of these guys are good. I can't wait to find out. Have a fantastic day. If you're a Giants fan, you know what to do. Go ahead and smash the like button and the subscribe button. Appreciate everybody. Check out my team previews, and uh, we're gonna talk to y'all next time. See ya! Damage control, straight to the hole. I got no chance of ever making my goal.